taupe shades from the lightest to the darkest skins you can sculpt a face. I had a girl yesterday that I brought over from Jay-Z to Beyonce just by sculpting her. <laughs> Really light in texture. You can feel that. Shades. Foundation. I hope you guys can hear me over there. AJCrimson.com. You can pick it up. All the collection there. You'll probably see it in stores around September. that it's just going to happen overnight. I've been doing this for 12 years and, um, and it, it took me about maybe three of those years to even see my first celebrity. So just build your portfolio, build your book. That never stops happening. Always look at um, references. So if you see a beautiful picture like that and you're trying to achieve that, there's a way to do it without airbrushing or without all the things on top. It's about you perfecting your skills and, and getting to that said, I got a call, it's no money, it's, the picture is only going to be this big in a magazine, literally the size of a matchbook. Some girl, it's like a 19 year old girl that's a singer, and um, she's getting her picture taken, and they need makeup and hair, mind you, and hair. Do you want to do it? And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing anything else, and it was Mariah. Wow. <laughs> and that, for really, what, um, that was the, the luckiest thing that happened to me at that time, but so many, I've had so many incredibly lucky things happen, but you have to allow, you have to allow the luck to come, your talent. Your talent will get you 35% of the way there, it's the sad thing. Um, but if you're an asshole, your talent will not override that. If you are a gossip, it's not going to override that. If you're irresponsible and you're not where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there, ready to go, it's not going to override that. You know, there are so many different things. In the celebrity game, um, I had a rule um, that I didn't cross a line of makeup artist client, friend, friend. They're my friend and I love them and I care about them and um, but I didn't cross a certain line because it can get real messy really quick. It's, and an agent is just part of your team. They're not your boss, you don't work for them, you're the boss. That, that's, that's really the way it is. And so you have to, you will always be the one that drives the car, which gets us back to the whole concept of what I was talking about today, is you're in the driver's seat. Everybody else is just, a, you know, they're either in the back seat or sitting next to you, but you know what I mean? So the, the turning point is when you feel like you're ready, um, and, and you all know, I mean, you know in your gut, if you're honest with yourself, you know what the stuff is that you need to work on. You know the stuff that you're still not really, really good at or that you're insecure about. So you're gonna know when, it, when it's time, but 